Iyoyo state government has issued a notice to the Hausa dwellers in Lakwite village, Monia Ibadan, Oyo state, to vacate their age-long cemetery with a view to using the land for the construction of the dry ports. Speaking on the development, Sadauna of the western region, Alaji Haruna Mayasin, disclosed that the 30 acres of land were acquired by Hausa about 15 years ago with the primary motive of burying their people in Oyo state and its environs. He maintained that the cemetery has been used for the burial of many Hausa across the southwestern states and assuming them may be a difficult task. In a similar vein, he condemned the attempt of the government towards taking over their cemetery and urges the government to look for alternative. One of the security men at the cemetery disclosed that no fewer than 10 Hausa people are usually brought to the cemetery on a daily basis for burial. What? Like seriously? Hmm. Guys, I don't know whether you remember the statement made by one of those uh, chieftains in Sokoto, one is uh, Fulani Esme in Sokoto, saying that uh, now they are going to demand from the federal government that they are going to get their land from from uh, the areas which their forefathers had conquered. And you know, they said they are going to bring us some, uh, they are going to make it uh, public in or maybe they're going to tell us the areas at which their forefathers really conquered that it's going to come out on national uh, newspapers that in some days time that we are going to be seeing all of that i i hope that is not one of the areas which they have really conquered because even if they had not conquered this particular place you can imagine what happened what is happening now that they say they cannot even look they can't do anything because they cannot start assuming their their people who they are, that they've buried there the government should look for alternative. But if we want to look at look at it from the other angle, does it mean that the the place was sold to them? If the place was sold to them, good and fine. And on what condition was it sold for them? Or was it that they leased the place for them or they were, they were just occupying it and because they've occupied it for a very long time, now they are assuming ownership of that place. That's another thing we really need to look into. Because again, the allergy, I don't know, Meyasin disclosed that the 30 acres of land were acquired. Did they buy it in the first place? Or they were just they would just allow them to be using it because it was a free place and the government was not really using it. They acquired it. Did they get a, the proper documentation? If they got the proper documentation, good and fine. That means it belongs to them. Because if you have bought something, you've really bought it. But he said they acquired it because you cannot just acquire something without paying for it without having a proper documentation for it that is just my uh, opinion but if they they did not acquire it and they did not do the legal uh thing that's supposed to be done on land definitely they have to leave that place because they will not tell the government to 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 look for alternative of course before government will even come in the first place they should have known that they should have known the paperwork that has really gone into that particular land so let us see what will happen and that is why of course there will be there will be tension there will be uh, uh panic and confusion there's, there will be confusion so the government itself should need to need to do the proper thing the proper thing to be able to know whether they are going to collect that land from them or they are going to leave it for them if they have done the necessary things if they have done the necessary things i see no reason why they will want to get it back from them you know at times even if you have uh, you got the right thing and the place is meant to be where the government has already done the town plan. If the town planning or the state or the particular place has been done, of course they can relocate them and they will compensate them. It can be done in that way, even if you acquire it and you know that, and the government knows that this is not supposed to be done and you have been there for a very long time. Either two things, they will compensate them. That is another thing. They will need to compensate them. But if they did not acquire it legally, the way it ought to, they have to leave that place. And that's why there's confusion here and there. That is my own opinion. Let's hear what Nigerians are saying concerning this. Someone says here that, or oh, your government should look for alternative. And someone replied and said, don't find trouble. Remember Yoruba living in North. They also have symmetry. I beg, wahala, no good. Let the sleeping dog lies. Please. And someone says, I think this is needed. But can they do that for us over there? Another says yeah, that they should they should assume their dead bodies and carry go uh, to the north where they don't cherish human lives. 
No, it is it's more than that. You know, there shouldn't be any form of sentiment. In my own opinion, let them look at the whole thing thoroughly so that the things that have been brewing before now will not just escalate to that, oh, it's because of this or it's because of that. If the government has a good uh, good case that they really want them to relocate from that place and the people acquired it legally and they must use that place for what they, whatever they want to use it for, the best thing is to compensate them. If they acquired it legally, but if they did not acquire it legally, so sorry, they can give them another place. But let's see what will happen. That is my own opinion. There's no need for us to be uh, to be sentimental. I think that's the right word. Someone says dead Yoruba too are buried in foreign lands, in USA, Europe, etc. So it is unfair to deny them that. And moreover, we are still in Nigeria. Our land is not. A burial ground for our people they should go by the way of mass barrier as they turned their land to be it is human what makes the yoruba people different from the fulani we castigated government of your state should get alternative land in fact this time government should avoid the issue that can lead to tribalism and disunity exactly for your state government you should kindly pardon them with the feed or land since we are one Nigeria and one nation. They can bury their dead in their region. What is fair is fair. Let your state government either leave the land or find alternative. Had it been the land is in the north, they will be they will do these things, but we will not stop steps on toes for their leaders to say Amoteku has started working. If there's an alternative location, please don't disturb those resting ones mm. or your state government please press softly and give them the right to bury their dead family members it is better to get another land for the dry port project many thanks to you guys so the the needful must be done you know like people always say two wrongs don't make uh right but in the, in my opinion it's in two different ways if they feel that the government feels that they didn't get that a uh, place properly but just like what they said that they acquired it you don't just go and own a place without acquiring it the normal way because land is not something you just you just you know just treat like that because everybody they treat land and everybody cherish most people cherish uh, cherish a land people cherish land when it comes to land it's not something that just okay you just saw it there you just pick it you don't just pick it and you don't just reside in a particular place and say today because you have people who own that place originally. Who are that place originally? Someone says, What it concern us, we must develop our land. The dead are gone and nothing can bring them back. When Governor Akala did the dualization of Molete Queen's Cinema Road, the St. James Cathedral Cemetery at Okebola that has been in use for decades was set back at almost half of half to give way for the dualization. And our people did not cry. We have to uh, look at the whole thing, you know, so that it will not result to any form of sentiment. Oh, because of this or because of that. I quite understand. Just like I said, if really the place is really important to the government that they really want to do carry out this project, good and fine. There's a way they will settle them if they really acquire this the normal way, or they will, they will look of, of alternative place for them to use. It's if in as much the road or that particular land is going to be to the benefit of everybody whosoever why not they should understand but it has to be done amicably so that it will not result to any fracas or any form of a sentiment and uh, conflict and someone says there should be po uh, there should be public burial grounds they have them everywhere in the north they accommodate everybody every tribe i don't think it should be possible if every tribe goes for special burial ground everywhere but the governor can leave them because it had been done and this one is directed to the governor someone says mr governor makinde i know you cannot do this being a very good man and administrator kindly look for another site for the project doing this might mean you are not accommodating other tribes in the state and if you are not aware of these developments kindly put up government notice telling the public that you know nothing of such but and the work of enemies of your governments. So guys, uh, let's hear your own take concerning this whole thing because there's 
a kind of a mixed reactions. People are like, oh, it has to be this, or they should leave them. The government should look for alternatives. Somebody say, oh, it has been done before, then they can relocate to other places if the place is going to be to the benefit of the masses. Just like I said as well, you know, they will compensate them. And But the most important thing, it has to be done in a peaceful manner so that everybody will be satisfied at the end of the day so guys what do you think about this whole thing leave your comments below and let's have your take bye